Today we're going to do a demonstration to show you how to test for free and total acid in zinc and manganese phosphate baths using a pH meter. Common method is to use phenothaline and bromphenol blue indicators, but sometimes there's discrepancies when you have multiple operators testing the bath. Their numbers may vary slightly. With the pH meter, you can get consistent readings from one test to the next. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a 2 mil sample of a manganese phosphate bath or whatever the appropriate sample size is for the bath that you're testing. And we're going to place it into a clean beaker. Next we're going to add approximately 100 mils of DI water. And the reason for the water is we want to make sure that our pH probe is completely submerged. You can only perform this method accurately if you standardize your pH meter on a regular basis. Here at Heat Bath, we test, uh, we calibrate our pH meter daily and we use pH buffers of 4, 7, and 10. So now we're ready to do our titration. The free acid, which is our first endpoint we're going to go to, is a titration using 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide to a pH of 4.0. So I'm going to just add sodium hydroxide with mixing until my pH meter gives me a reading of have it. So at this point we have our free acid pH of 4.0 and we're going to take a reading from our burette which is 2.5. So our free acid for this sample is 2.5. Now we're going to continue titrating up to a pH of 8.2. We're not going to re-zero the burette, we're just going to continue our titration from that 2.5 mils that we've already used. So continuing on we're going to go up to pH of 8.2. And once I get to about 7.5 or so, I slow down my addition of sodium hydroxide and, and just go very slowly so I don't overshoot that endpoint. So we're at 8.2, that is the equivalent of our total acid. We're going to take our reading, which happens to be a 13. So we have a 13 total acid and a 2.5 free acid. And that is our test for free and total acid using a pH meter. If you'd like more information on this, please contact us.